Hmm, fucking finally. Alrighty, hey guys, it is Mitch Games 24 7 here today with another video for you guys, and today what we're going to be going over is the version 1.10 patch notes for Fortnite's Battle Royale game mode in particular. So strap on in, it's going to be a long one. If you guys do enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that great stuff, but we're going to be getting directly into it. So the new 1.10 update patch has just dropped, and it's about two and a half gigabytes in file size. And for those of you guys who have been having the same issue that I have on PlayStation 4 at least, uh, they are looking into getting the slower download times, if you guys have been experiencing that. They are looking into getting that fixed about fucking time. But anyways, let's get on to, into the gameplay patches. So here we go. So the first thing is that they've got a decreased chance of getting bandages from tre treasure chests and supply drops by up to 35%, which is fucking amazing. This is definitely needed. They've also got reduced aim assist on controllers. This should make it easier to lead targets with sniper rifles. The updated aim assist system allows us to iterate easily. Let us know how you think we can improve the aim assist, so make sure to uh, obviously do that. We've got some various bug fixes here. So we've got improved network priority for doors, which reduces the likelihood of seeing players run through a closed door. That's something I've been experiencing myself. Improved network priority for chests, which reduces the likelihood of them appearing to remain closed for a short time after opening. This one is a big issue, so uh, hopefully this is fully fixed by now. Players will no longer fall through the world if they are eliminated while jumping, something else that I have seen. Players will no longer uh, deploy if a player... Uh, gliders will no longer deploy if a player uses a launch pad in the DBNO state. I don't actually know what that is. I'm assuming it's just down. We've got player will no longer jitter while falling and skydiving, which is great. We've got dancing no longer goes on cooldown if it fails to play. Thank God. Chests and attics no longer will spawn loot on roofs or outside walls. Fix an issue where which caused teammates to survive fall damage with 1 HP. Fix an issue causing teammates names to jitter. Fix an issue or well, fixed an error sorry message that players would sometimes receive when being invited to a battle royale match when they hadn't completed the save the world tutorial mission yet. Okay, so that's all that done. Now we come into the weapons where we've got remove traces for the silence SMG. We've got sniper rifles no longer reload while in scope view. That's probably something that is very well needed. It's a little bit of a uh, patch right there. It's probably nerfed a little bit, but that's okay. So we've got some bug fixes for the weapons as well. Fixed an issue which uh, presented grenades from exploding. So they obviously now explode about time. Fixed an issue which caused crosshairs to disappear if a sniper rifle was fired right before the battle bus took off. I can't say I've ever... Had that one. Fixed several issues with the smoke grenade effect. Smoke effects now appear the same in and out outside of the storm. Players can no longer see through smoke effects when using a scope from within the smoke. That, that's pretty fucking stupid that that was even in the game. Players will no longer experience a flash effect when multiple smoke grenades go off at once. You know, we've got various audio fixes. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them here. Reduced volume for ambient trap sounds and made them less frequent. Added a new warning sound that activates when a player approaches a ceiling or wall trap. Teammate footsteps now sound quieter than enemies. That's good. If you're expect spectating a player, their footsteps are quieter. Added different footstep sounds for wood, stone, metal, and dirt slash grass surfaces. That's fantastic. It's now easy to hear footsteps through walls. That's also fantastic. Gives people with a headset a little bit of an edge. Added terminal velocity wind sound when falling from large heights and impact slash pain sounds for when taking damage from falling. Just little things make a big difference, obviously. Increase the audio range for the sniper gunshot from 180 meters to 250 meters. Reduce gunshot sound volume for tactical shotgun. Does not affect audio range. Reduce volume of revolver equip slash reload slash fire sounds. New sounds for med kit, shield potion, and slurp juice consumables. It's now easier to hear the sound of another player gliding towards you after using a launch pad. All audio for the dance emote is now adjusted with the S of X slider instead of music. Thank fucking god. Wind volume reacts more dynamically while skydiving or using a glider slash umbrella. They've also removed low frequency content in the ticking clock sound that plays prior to the storm ice shrinking. These frequencies could have previously been mistaken for footsteps while running. Holy crap, this is killing me guys to read all this. But we've got some performance ones here as well. Improved general frame rate when multiple players are nearby. Improved server performance by reducing the number of redundant movement events sent from clients. Improved Xbox One rendering by reducing CPU stalls. It's also pretty good for the Xbox One players. We have improved performance when rendering lightning and shadows. That's also good. Improved performance when rendering bushes and other clutter objects. Improved game thread performance by converting more game logic BPS to C++. I've got no fucking clue what that means. Improved UI performance. Improved PhysiX. Uh, performance improved CPU performance on the Xbox One and Windows by tweaking thread priority, so that's also quite good. Improved performance on particle systems by adding batching. Improved performance of animation trail effects and particles. Improved performance when using the glider. Optimized particles associated with players slash weapons. 
optimize audio for the safe zone indicator, tweaked how often animations and updates and optimize many other animation systems, reduced general hitching by optimizing garbage collection of objects loaded within memory, reduced network bandwidth used when spawning players in a squad match, which is also great so you're going to experience a little bit less lag there, fixed the server performance issue caused by building actors that moved every frame, fixed the server performance issue where rubber banding could be caused when jumping out of the battle bus, that's another one that I've had personally, fixed various hitches that could occur during gameplay. And finally we're on to the UI, so here we go, we've got a lot here to read off as well. You can now view your personal stats and XP gain at the end of a match or when spectating. You can now choose to abandon one of your daily challenges each day, added net debug stats panel to the battle royale UI. It's going to be enabled by going to the settings, game, HUD, net, debug, stats. This setting displays pings, bandwidth, packets per second, packet loss for both uploading and downloading, which is fantastic. So you're going to be seeing if you're playing on a really bad connection or not, so you can blame connection a little bit more, which is great. If you haven't received a packet from the server in more than one second, the UI will also dis display a connection loss warning, similar to what we see in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. Currently, this update is only available on Windows and Mac, so it's a PC exclusive, but uh, they are hoping to put it onto the console in a future update. Added the option to send a friend, friend invite to squad mates on the spectator and victory screens, which is also a PC and Mac uh, experience only. So it's a shame that obviously PC are getting a lot of this stuff first, but it's just easy to implement, obviously. Added some look and feel polish to the matchmaking buttons, which they do look significantly better. Uh, better right now, which is great. Added a warning message that activates when players attempt to disguise themselves as a bush while already disguised. Replaced the 60 second warm up timer. We have waiting for players, increase the size of the large map so it takes up more screen, space when open, that's great. The revive timer now shows the revive process for both keyboard and controller pa uh, players, and we've got some bug fixes as well. So we've got sensitivity sliders for the mouse and gamepad will now stop at 0 0.1 instead of 0, 0. I've got no fucking clue what that means. Disconnected squad mates will now remain on the HUD. The list is disconnected, okay, that's interesting. Character models inspected in Save the World will no longer be displayed in the locker tab. The up button on the D-pad no longer closes the inventory tab when using the Pro Controller layout. Okay. Settings will now properly save when players apply them and back out to the menus quickly. Thank fuck for that. Don't have to have uncapped frame rate turned on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. Add a description to equipped items in the locker tab. Storm zone graphics will no longer flicker when the storm begins to close in. You now report players that have Unicode and Chinese characters in their name. Weird that you couldn't do that fucking before. Okay. Fix the timers on the global wins leaderboards, which is great. When knocked by the storm, the elimination message will now properly read player was knocked down by the storm. Okay, that's that's great. And we've got some spectating bug fixes for the smoke grenades. Now visible to spectators when watching them within the smoke. Fixed bugs where teammates could be invisible while spectating them. Scope visual will no longer be stuck on screen while switching between players in spectate mode. Fucking finally. And we've got one last thing here, just a general thing. Fixed a rare crash that could occur when backing out to the main menu. Fuck me dead. We've been reading for nearly eight minutes there of just pure updates. So let me know what you guys obviously thought of all those updates there. There's a fucking shitload of updates, obviously. It's just general performance. I figured I'd make it just reading everything out because obviously some people don't really want to just scour through it. So if you guys found any of that interesting at all, be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. It would mean the world to me. I am going to be streaming Fortnite later today, which is going to be fantastic. Hopefully you guys can come over there. I will definitely have an event up which will be linked in the description of this video or in the comment section will be the pinned comment. So make sure to come over, enjoy the stream. We're going to be playing it for a while, see how many more wins we can get, which is great. We've got about 25 or so wins so far, which is pretty good. So anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, once again, leave a like, subscribe. Anyways, guys, it's BB Mitch, and I will see you guys in another video.